Hello, it's Jeanette Your Beauty and welcome to my channel. Today, as you can see by the title, I will be comparing some drugstore affordable products and also some high-end products. Now, throughout the years, I love to dibble and dabble between trying new products, products that I'm just interested in, whether they're more affordable or they just so happen to be more high-end. I just love trying products overall and throughout my videos many of you have commented and you have told me some of the products that I'm using are way too expensive I totally understand I try to have a variety of high-end and also affordable and also in between and just give my feedback whether I like it how it feels you know etc so I have gone out and I have bought some products that you have suggested or you wanted me to try and some products that I just want to try on my own I have gone to so many different stores I am going to be using some high-end products of course from this side and also some more affordable products on this side of my hair so let's just get right into it so don't mind my hair right now I did it a few days ago and I plan to wash my hair the day after or like a couple days after but so much has happened I just got a new car and I have been very busy to say the least so my hair has been looking not like this I mean of course when I go out I kind of you know doctor it up so it looks more presentable but I just slept on it and now it is time to wash my hair but this style very simple I did make a tutorial on this super quick style it took me literally like five minutes to do so this is definitely a style that you could do say from a wash and go or even if you wash your hair and you decide to do it I just wanted my hair out of my face it has been very hot lately around here like 97 degrees and very 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 humid like I don't even want to go outside I don't even want to take my children outside to play because it is that hot and then right here the flakes you can see this is from the gel that I use so I did this style on top of a wash and go so that is why my hair looks like this but that's okay because I'm about to wash it so I'm not gonna have these flakes in my hair anymore so now I'm just going to divide my hair in half straight down the middle going one way and straight down the middle going the other so I'll have my quadrants so let me mist my hair with my mister bottle so I'm just going to spray this in my hair and just spraying this warm water is just going to help with the detangling process because I have some gel in here and it's been sitting in my hair for a few days now <laughs> so I already know that it may not be the easiest to part. All right, now I have my favorite rat tail comb, and I just love this rat tail comb. It's great for smoothing my hair out, and also I love to part my hair using this. Oh, my hair just looks so dirty, but it is that gel. All those sweet, sweet kisses and those sweet red roses, they convinced me it was so now I'm going to spray some water in this quadrant and for my treatment because you know I always do a treatment then shampoo condition and deep condition so for this side this African pride pre shampoo so this is their aloe and coconut water detangle and condition pre shampoo so it's supposed to help minimize breakage for natural coils and curls so this is a pre shampoo and many of you have been requesting for me to try this because some of you this instructs you to apply it on your hair dry so I typically don't apply products to my hair dry like I don't do styles on stretched hair I always apply products to wet hair so this is going to be very interesting for me so I'm just going to take some hair I'm telling you I love to drench my hair just soak it in water this is like a jelly it seems to be thicker oh this has a good amount of slip I like this and my hair doesn't feel like that sticky feel I've tried some products before and it gave me a lot of slip but my hair just felt sticky like it, it just didn't feel good yeah I really like the way this feels I'm just adding a little bit more because it said apply a generous amount now when companies say apply a generous amount I like to go heavy-handed on my products Ooh, so this feels really good Ooh, I like this I've used a few of African Pride products before and I didn't like them so much. That's why I was a little bit hesitant on trying this. But so many of you were like, oh, it's amazing, Jeanette. It's so good. You have to try it. So, yeah, I really like this. And my curls are clumping together. Ooh. 
All right, so this is doing a pretty good job of tangling my hair. I have a little bit of shedding just from this little section here, but I really like this. This is really good. I have a slip. I didn't need to apply water in my hair. My curls are clumping together. It feels really good. And it smells really good too. All right, and I'm just going to twist this section up just to keep the products really in my hair and also I'm going to smooth my ends that's just something that I always always do just because I love having smooth ends so you see how my ends are like kind of curling now they don't look so like stiff that's what I like because it just helps also when I style my hair and I'm just really able to always have my hair curl at the ends like that so my hair, it feels really smooth. I know I've already said it, but I'm definitely going to be adding this into my stash. So thank you again for insisting that I try this, even though I was not too keen on giving African Pride another try. gotta stay nice and hydrated okay so now for this side I am going to be using none other than Olaplex I know I've done a couple videos and I featured Olaplex I really love this treatment it is very very good I know it is more on the pricier side I really love it for my hair and maybe if you want to try it maybe do it like once every other month with this treatment I am going to apply a good amount of water because I find that the slip is just more intense with a good amount of water Alright, so I just really love to saturate my hair with water, like I said, unless the instructions say otherwise. Okay, I'm just going to pour a little bit, like this much, in my hands and just work it in my hair. Okay, so in comparison, what I have noticed already, I'll definitely say that the African Pride, it does have a really good amount of slip. So it's easy to put in my hair and to apply in my hair. This product, it does not have that slip in it. So I still notice that my hair, it feels really nice and smooth. Like it feels good, but I just noticed that the African Pride has a lot of slip to it. And I'm just going to smooth my hair. The ends, you already know. I really love how soft my hair is on this side. Both sides feel really good. And my curls are also clumping together really nice on this side. And that's another reason why I love this Olaplex treatment because I just noticed that my curls pop so good. So you can see how my curls are definitely clumping. So I noticed a little bit more shedding in this front section. So this is about how much hair shed. I will see you in the shower. Now it is time to rinse the treatments out and this is the African Pride side. I really love the way that my hair feels. It feels very soft, very moisturized and I also love the way that my curls are clumped together. So this is a great sign. And this is the Olaplex side. I also love the way that my hair felt. It felt very soft, very smooth, and I could feel my curls clump together. You already know I love this treatment, so it was a very hard decision to make. So what I decided to do is rinse both of the treatments out. That's the true test. Just seeing how my hair feels after the treatment has been rinsed out. So a lot of times products, they feel good when they're in your hair, but once you rinse them out, they don't feel as good. So that is what I was looking for. I wanted to to see how my hair felt after the treatments were rinsed out. And after feeling both sides really good, I have to say that I like the African Pride side just a little bit more. I noticed more moisture and that is something that I really love. So now moving on to shampoos. For the high-end side, I'm going to be using the Madam CJ Walker on repeat weightless moisture daily jelly shampoo. And this is definitely like a jelly. It feels very different. I used about... 
I'd say like a tablespoon of the shampoo and I really love the way it lathered in my hair initially it wasn't lathering so much but then once I added some water to it oh my gosh I had a really really good lather I just love the slip the moisture and my hair felt really good Even though the shampoo is in a different form than what I'm used to, it definitely gave me a great lather. My hair felt very clean, very moisturized, and very soft. I could feel my curls clumping together as I was working the shampoo in it. And now on to the shampoo for the affordable side. I will be using the Garnier Whole Blends Repairing Shampoo. This has honey in it and I really love honey in my hair. It works pretty good and many of you have requested for me to try this. So I decided to try it in today's video. And immediately when I was working the shampoo in my hair, it felt so good. The shampoo is very creamy and it just lathered so good. My hair felt very moisturized, very soft and I really like the shampoo. You can really see how well my curls are clumping together from roots to tips and that is really important for me. I really love when my hair is nice and hydrated. I just love the way that this lathered in my hair. I just got a nice creamy rich lather from the shampoo. My hair felt so good and you know I love lather in my hair and that's why sometimes I do apply a good amount because I just love the feeling of that lather in my hair and my curls are clumping together so nicely. Now it's time to rinse the shampoos out and starting with the high end side. I really like the way my hair felt. My curls still felt very nourished, very conditioned, and my hair was soft. Now on to the Garnier side. I really love that nice creamy rich lather. I mean that is something I'm always looking for in shampoos and this shampoo definitely gave it to me. I just like how soft my hair felt and it just felt very moisturized even after I rinsed the shampoo out. So I'm pretty sure that you can already tell which side won. Even though my hair didn't feel as moisturized on the Garnier side, I love the way that my hair felt just a little bit more overall. So again, the more affordable side wins for the shampoo category. The affordable side just felt a little bit better. It was a close call though. Moving right along to conditioners, I'm going to saturate my hair with a lot of water. As I've already mentioned, I just love saturating my hair with water because products apply a lot better. The conditioner that I'm going to be using on the high end side is also from Madam CJ Walker. It is their So Extra Drenched Hydration Buttery Conditioner. And I really love the way this smells. It smells like peaches, but not too overbearing. And it's also made with peach nectar. And I really love the way that this conditioner felt in my hair. It felt really good. My hair just drunk it up so good. It just felt really nice and nourishing in my hair. I also like to comb the conditioner in my hair just to make sure that my hair really soaks it up and I really love this conditioner. My hair just felt really nice and nourished, conditioned, moisturized, all the above. I really like this conditioner. The conditioner that I'm going to use on the affordable side is also from Garnier. It's their whole blends repairing conditioner. This also has honey in it. I just find that products that do contain honey tend to work on my hair a lot better. So I tend to go for those type of products that are really moisturizing, that help repair men that are good for dry or damaged hair. Even though my hair is not dry or damaged, those products, they just tend to have that extra oomph that my hair needs. But with this conditioner, I did have to apply a generous amount to get it to work for me. It wasn't as moisturizing as I would hoped for. I did have to apply a lot more water and also just really work it in my hair in order for it to work. 
I think that the conditioner was okay for my hair. It wasn't bad, but it was just okay. Also, as I was combing the conditioner in my hair, I noticed that some spots just seemed to get skipped over, and that is not a good sign. I really had to work with this conditioner in order for it to work. So if I do use this again, like I said, this conditioner is not bad, it's okay. But if I use this conditioner again, I definitely have to let it sit in my hair for some time. Now it's time to rinse the conditioners out and my hair it still feels good from the Madam CJ Walker side. I really love how my curls were clumping together. My hair felt very nice and conditioned, very moisturized and very soft. I really love the way that my hair felt, especially sitting on my hair after I applied the conditioners to the other three quadrants of hair. And you know I always put my deep conditioner in right away after I rinse the conditioner out. And so for my deep conditioner, I will be using the Kerastase Resistance Mask Therapy. Now, I used to use Kerastase a long time ago when I always straightened my hair. And it really worked so good in my hair. So I am familiar with these products. Now, this deep conditioner was very thick. It was very dense and concentrated. And that was a good thing. I love the way that it applied to my hair. And it should I mean for this price it definitely should be working in my hair really good back to the affordable side with the Garnier whole blends conditioner my hair it felt okay I know if I left it on a little bit longer it would have felt better but that's not the whole point of a conditioner that's what deep conditioners are for I do like that my hair still feels soft but this conditioner didn't cut it for me. So with this category, I would have to say that the high end side won. Now for my deep conditioner, I'm going to be using Eden Body Works, their natural deep conditioner. And this is one of my favorite deep conditioners. I just love the way that it applies to my hair so smoothly. And my hair is very receptive to this deep conditioner. I also love the way it felt in my hair after this conditioner. So even though the Garnier conditioner wasn't the best for my hair I still love the way that this conditioner applied to it and to help with the efficacy of the deep conditioners I am going to put this platinum deep conditioning cap on this is going to help trap that heat and just make the deep conditioning process a lot more effective it's been about 10 minutes since I had this deep conditioning cap on while I took my shower. So now it is time to rinse the deep conditioners out. I will say on this high end side, I really love the way that my hair felt. My curls were clumped together. My hair felt very soft and moisturized. I really like the way that my hair felt. It just felt very, very good. Now to rinse the Eden Body Works deep conditioner out. I really love the way that my hair felt. My curls were clumping together after this deep conditioner had some time to penetrate into my hair strands as it should. That's why I love putting the deep conditioning cap on. I really love the way that my curls were clumping together. You know, I already know how this deep conditioner feels in my hair. And this was definitely a close call with the deep conditioners. So I decided to rinse the deep conditioner out on all of my hair and just show you a comparison to what my hair looked like. Now that the deep conditioner has been rinsed out of both sides and I felt my hair, both sides feel really good, but the Eden Body Works side just feels a little bit better and especially for the price difference, the Eden Body Works side definitely won. I really like both deep conditioners. It was a very close call, but the Eden Body Works just had a slight tinge over the Kerastase one. So this goes to show that you could definitely use affordable products to get great results. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I really wasn't learning.